It is an exciting time to be a horror fan. I feel like we've got a bunch of really great movies all releasing at around the same time, and we're starting this wonderful wave of movies off with Immaculate. I'm excited to see what she's all about, or rather, I think I'm excited to see if this movie surprises me. I'm a little nervous that the trailers have given out more information about the plot than they should. Like, we know this is a church setting. We know there's some sort of immaculate conception going on. We know Miss Sydney Sweeney's going to be covered in blood, and presumably the church is evil. I'm crossing my fingers that there's some sort of other surprise along the way, but the premise has got me pretty hooked already. I mean, churches scare me. <laughs> You're always like one step away from being in a very evil cult. And if I read things correctly, I'm pretty sure that Miss Sydney herself really fought for this movie to be made. I'm very ready. Let's get into it. Thank you. Girl? Did she pray before going into this room? Cause she knows what's up. Is the devil in the room with us? <laughs> Girl, you have to tell me. <laughs> Are we thieving from an old woman? Honey, what are we doing? Oh, keys. Are we locked inside? Is that the problem? Honey, baby, if you're this scared to get out, break a window. Oh, uh, where are we? Are we at like a, a convent? We did not come prepared for this. Close your eyes. Don't look. <gasps> Squeeze, squeeze, baby. Oh, just suck the life out of yourself. Cause they're gonna do it for you if you don't. Run. No, 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 no. Oh, why? Well, that's a way to start. That's a way to start a movie. And now we're in a coffin. We're not done. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I actually really love this opening. The screaming over the, the title credits, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Is that your webkins? So this convent, they bought you the ticket? Mm -hmm. You're very young to be a nun. Don't be creepy, don't be creepy. It's a different life, yeah? Must have been a hard decision. A life away from creepy men like you, ew. Think of it like that as a decision. Listen, I have a theory already playing in my head about sort of the purpose of this story, which might be too deep, but like, let me. And it's very like women's bodily rights and autonomy and the concept of the church. And for her to say, I don't think about it like that as a decision is a really good line in the concept of that. We are entering the gates of hell. It's a great house though. I love a spooky, spooky big house. All of the aerial shots feel very um, omen-esque, don't they? Rosa Cecilia. <sighs> Reverend Mother. Spirito Santo. I'm sorry. She says you're pretty. <laughs> I'm Sister Cecilia. Isabel. Isabel's either in love or very jealous. In love would be fun. Our Lady of Sorrows was founded in 1632 as a refuge for elder sisters before their transition to heaven. Also, plenty of people have died here. All of this, it was built on the catacomb of St. Stephen. It's off limits. Fun fact about catacombs, I don't think they are off limits. They are going to enter into your house. <laughs> I could never. <laughs> You want that to be my life? And this room is yours. Damn, bitch. You got a studio apartment. You're very sweet. <gasps> this is our girl from the beginnings room, isn't it? You're here to find yourself. There are easier I'm ways. I'm not. Tonight, you do not have to take your vows. You can still go back and God will forgive you. She's asking her to leave. See, Isabel is not the enemy. Not thine enemy, thine friend. Oh, I'm Gwendolina. You can call me Gwen. My room is there. Hi, Gwen. I love you already. You're far from home. Yeah, my, my parish closed. Father Zadetsky, he reached out to me. He has a talent. Oh, of finding young, vulnerable women? Sniffing out broken birds. Bingo. Cecilia, leave, girl. I think that maybe we are all head cases or runaways. And maybe all a little gay? I would love a little... <laughs> 
Nun Love Story. Not the pure white. No, I'm clean for you, God. I'm clean. Imagine living in a place like this and you can't even enjoy it. <laughs> The shots are beautiful. This man is vile. I can already tell from 50 feet away. We don't need to get closer. He's an evil, evil man. Sister Cecilia. Father, did ask you. We all feel so blessed to have you here. Up close, I don't hate him. Was I wrong? Is it this man? Listen, I'm not going to trust a man. <laughs> No, he's making me uncomfortable again. He got five seconds of weakness and it's gone. Let us rejoice for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his brides have made themselves ready. Gross! A vow of poverty, chastity, and obedience. May God give you the strength to fulfill your vows. Now how come he's allowed to be decked out in wealth? Shine his light for the world to see. Because what he was chosen by God? Get out of here. You have to be pure no material things except for me except for me because otherwise you wouldn't know I'm in charge <laughs> my first career was in sciences biology and then you chose religion get out this makes me trust him even less what about you um I imagine it was a difficult decision the opportunities back in the states I didn't feel like that's what God saved me for when I was 12 years old there was this part of the sad memory that I was freeze over I don't remember the ice breaking <laughs> Oh, God damn. Girl, you fell under the ice and you thought, let me just devote my entire life to God. You got a second chance and you said, I don't want to do anything with it. I know God saved me for a reason, but I guess I'm still searching for what that reason is. To each their own, but like, I don't know if going here is a good way to search for the purpose. Because there's only like one purpose. It's not like you have different avenues to go down and explore and like find yourself and your reason for being. You've just got the one. <laughs> And if you're still not sure about it. Are we bone dogging? That's one person. I'm crazy. I'm the crazy one. Are you okay? I'll go get some help. I'm so sorry. I, I heard her crying. What is this place? Hell. It's hell. He suffered so I didn't have to. Isn't that the gimmick? Suffering is love. Suffering is love, my ass. <laughs> Get me out. I was careless last night. I love that. That view of the grid on her. There's something about it in the backdrop that makes her look like an old, like, Renaissance painting. It's very pretty. Your remnants? Who are we confessing to? The devil? <laughs> no. No! I hate this. I actually- stop. Stop it. Oh, peach! It's night one and we're having work dreams. It's time to go. Well, who are you and why? I'm not trying to wake up from a nightmare just to have a ghost in my room. If you bum rush me, bitch, I'm fighting. Those were some good scares. Girl, am I allowed to leave now? I don't have the fortitude. Guess I better get my things. What a blessing to mentor you both. Finish eating, we have work to do. Mrs. Kelly got What does that mean? Cecilia. Oh, as to imply, girl's a straight virgin. Very Mother Mary. Those scissors? I don't know if the doors in this building lock. I'm locking every door. At least my bedroom at nighttime. Ooh, she been branded by the cross. She had scars on the bottom of her feet. It's not what you thought it would be, huh? It's better than where I came from, though. There is a boy. There was a boy. In he hit me. Oh, Gwen. Gwen also has a tattoo? Once I left him, I went to those support groups, you know. There were these nuns there, and I thought, 
These women have a very good life. So I signed up. Wait, so you don't even believe in God? Of course I do. Life is so cruel. Only a man can be responsible. <laughs> we love Gwen. We love Gwen. Oh, oh my God. That was oh, is our baby okay? pregnant already? <gasps> Rude. It got me. What is this trope in horror movies of birds always flying into windows and, and breaking their necks? Who started that and why? I need to, I need some answers. An address to send my angry letters. God, he's looking at her like she's disgusting. Earlier it was like, mm, I kind of like you because you're so pure and untouched and now you're pregnant so you're a dirty, filthy whore. I Sort of three vows when I got here of obedience, poverty, and chastity. Rimasta casta. Sorry, why are you asking me this? It's okay, just answer the question if you would. I want to fight. Before you arrived, do you have Congress with a man? Say it like an adult. If you're gonna say it to me, say it with your whole damn chest. Do not be punished. We just want to know the truth. I'm not lying, father. She's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> All'apparenza sembra che non sia mai stato tutto. What are you looking at? Everyone in the room discussing all of this without telling her is so upsetting. Like they all know that she's pregnant, but she's like, what are what are we doing? What are we talking about? Why are you asking me these questions? And they're like, mm, I think we're going to keep that from you. <laughs> it's gross. touch her. Don't touch her. The way you were about to throw her in the streets because she was dirty. Questo bambino è stato è stato concepito senza peccato. Abbiamo assistito a un miracolo. It's not a miracle. You're right. You have every right to cry. Who saved your life? There's a scene that you've been searching for a reason. Get away from her. As it are the me, they shall inherit the earth. Oh, that shot. That is so beautiful. But I don't believe it though, right? Like somebody in this convent is responsible for getting her pregnant. It can be immaculate, but like from the devil. <laughs> That's so pretty. Can you imagine moving up from a nun to that like an icon of worship <coughs> we're gonna fly through this pregnancy huh did you lose a tooth <gasps> gwen no working your only job is baby how long before they start calling you mary <laughs> yeah that would be an actual nightmare. I guess the people that are really, really into the church are probably super stoked and think like, oh my God, this is such a miracle. But then you have people like Gwen. <laughs> Isabel. And people like Isabel, who are just gonna drown you. They have to try again with me. See, this is intended. There's no miraculous conception happening. And of course, Isabel is angry because Isabel's clearly devoted her entire lifestyle. She's like in it, but she's been waiting for this moment for herself. Y'all doing something nasty. Father Isabel said it was supposed to be her. Why would she say that? Mm -hmm. You ask the right questions, yes. Isabel has been losing her battle with mental illness for a while now. And I will make sure this never happens again. Because he's gonna, he's gonna, Isabel. I want to see another doctor. I want to go to a real hospital, please. Hospital is not what you need right now. You're perfectly healthy. I hate I this. Hospitals aren't the safest of places. Literally, you shouldn't die. <laughs> the safest thing you could do is to stay right underneath of my thumb where I can control every single thing that happens to you. Because don't forget, daddy's in charge. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. This movie's kind of a blast, but I am angry and I think I'm just going to get more and more angry. The horror side is fascinating. The like supernaturally kind of elements that are sprinkled through are very neat. But the real horror is definitely that they're... Was that Isabel? Bitch is interrupting me, but whatever. Oh! Oh, good God. Nothing me out there, stop! 
daddy took care of it all right. Back to what I was saying, the real horror of this movie is without a doubt, three men being in charge of all of these women, having all of the information and all of the secrets, being in total control, and then having like the cover up of God and miracle and religion to protect their evil intentions. Come fate a stare tutti lì a far finta di niente? Eh? Isabel si è suicidata, ma che cazzo sta succedendo? Ah, we love Gwen. Dice un sacco di cazzate. Lasciami. To me. No. Oh, you know she's going to turn up dead now. Can't have anybody loudly decrying the men. Oh, and there's whatever's written on the wall from the girl before. I'm excited to see what it says. Girl, what's it say? For Satan himself often masquerades as an angel of light. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Gwen. Gwen. Oh, they got rid of Gwen. What are we looking for? Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, she's looking for the file. Right, right, right. Which again, disgusting. It's literally information about herself. She should have access to it. <laughs> Girl, hide. Blow out your candle and hide. Oh my God, they have newspaper articles? That's right, because he sourced her because they're trying to find the one who can have a miracle baby. So they have to look for miracle people. People that have almost died, is that the thing? I'm on to you. I wish we could save her. We're not gonna be able to. Oh, honey. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're gonna cut off her tongue. Don't look. Don't watch this. Oh. 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 We love the sisters. Because they, they know, don't they? Is that a fucking voodoo doll, though? I don't know about that. <laughs> we have to leave. Okay, so maybe we're not friends with the older sisters. Maybe we have zero friends. Is Cecilia? What's the success? I don't know, father. It's Saturday. If you have one doctor on staff to take care of your weird devil babies, you should be able to get a hold of them on a Saturday. Are we really risking going to an actual hospital? <sighs> you know, as a matter of fact, I think I hate everyone in this movie. How about that? How about that? <sighs> you all crazy. It's fake blood. <gasps> She's staging it. Bless her heart. Keep screaming, girl. You're almost there. <gasps> Ooh, no. Sorry, Damn, damn, damn. Ah! Oh, I'm obsessed with this. The music. <sighs> Ooh! Ooh! Mm. It's Pride and Prejudice, but for the horror girlies. <laughs> Apologize if any of my actions made you feel scared. You're safe. The way that I wish I could put my fists through the screen. It makes me sick. <laughs> when you look at these, what do you see? A crazy person holding a stick. Are these all immaculate babies that didn't make it? 20 years of joy and error. This is what's inside me. And these are all our failures. I left the field of genetics because... Oh, right. He's a science man. So many people have such a narrow view of its potential. Playing God. I am not playing God. He said, I am God. Oh, they're gonna brand her. They're gonna brand her. I can't watch this shit. It's making me so, so angry. No, no, stop! Blessed no. are the meek. No! No! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Well, at least the bedroom doors are locked now. <laughs> Sydney 
Sweeney is so good at acting crazy. I mean, she's not crazy right now, but I'm, you know, like just to scream the like fury. <laughs> yes, bitch. Sorella Cecilia. How long have you been targeting me? Good question. And what's gonna happen when it's done? They're gonna kill you, honey. She knows. End it. Ah, why? Why is she falling apart? I hate it. God, it's slow. That's a slow peel. Stop it. <coughs> it's goopy. This is not God's work. If this is not the will of God, why does God not stop us? Shut the fuck up. How can you do something to another person and say, it's God's work? It would be kind of maybe a little bit of fun if she if she did something to the baby, especially if it was born and then she was like, yeah. <laughs> you save us. Kill her with the cross. Kill her with the cross. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. With the cross. Ugh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Funny because she used the Lord's name in vain. You know? Mm. I do think this movie is very beautifully shot. God, we couldn't have found like a blade or something? Actually, that, yeah, let's make it painful. Let's make it slow. Mm -hmm. God, this baby couldn't have come at a worse time, huh? Yes, find something sharp. She knows. Oh. Cecilia, this won't solve anything. If you die, we'll find another. Mm, that's a good point. Oh. Set on fire. Let him burn. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to watch him burn. I. Yeah. It feels right, doesn't it? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Get me out of here. This is actual hell. Mm hmm It is. Oh, the catacombs. I forgot all about the catacombs. I'm not trying to play around in a tomb with a broken flashlight. <laughs> She's screaming, but I can't fault her because she is in labor. <laughs> but it's like, you might as well have left breadcrumbs. <laughs> Cecilia. <laughs> He's gonna just be there. <laughs> Gwen! Oh, Gwen, we loved you so much. We were so close to the lesbian love nun story. I would have killed for that. <sighs> now, it's beautiful we love it don't get your hopes up she's gonna get right there and then oh yep do it you Mary, full of grace oh. ew what are you doing mother and not the hour yes thank god mm. Oh, I love that. Good for you, Sydney Sweeney. I actually really love this part. Just the extended screams, and that's it. She, she do be having a baby. So. Satan's coming. Satan's here. Does it have horns? What's up, girl? What's it look like? Does it have hooves? Is it crawling? What's up? Ew. I love it. Is she just going to leave it there? Oh, <gasps> no. Is she really going to?
not kidding. I actually love that. Not even a slight joke, I actually love that. For a minute, I was concerned that like the jump scares or potential supernatural threat just like wasn't gonna get me. It was gonna be too obvious. But then it like became a reveal that that's not the scary part of the story. The control over this woman's life and body that is actually terrifying. Home run. I don't think that the entirety of this movie is perfection, but watching it alone for that last like five minutes this is a wild statement. That's probably one of my favorite endings to a horror movie that I've seen in years. To be fair, most of the really good horrors that have come out in the last, I don't know, three years have fallen short in like the final act. And this movie absolutely stuns with that ending. We had that one little glimpse of like the little bean. <laughs> on the ground but we don't know if it looks like a baby if it looks like a demon if it's even like a fully formed or if it looks more like the failed experiments that were in the jars and it's really fun not to know because like that is the moment where cecilia takes control of her life right whatever is on the ground matters a lot less than her ability to make a choice her ability to regain choice after not being able to have it not not being able to see whatever she birthed is like helping to create the metaphor concept of what this story is talking about. The horrors and atrocities of not being able to control your own body. And I'm kind of obsessed.